Welcome back, Bobby Bashers, to the next BBBA. Uh, I'm here with Plum once again. Yes, hello, hello. There's Plum, and uh, we're going to be going over Bobby Bash number 26 and 27, the upcoming Bobby Bash, this Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. Remember Not that Saturday. it's Sunday. We're yeah. making accommodations for some players, and it might honestly be Sunday from now on because of these accommodations are going to have yeah. to be weekly. So... No, nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with a Sunday morning tournament. Yeah, Not, I mean, I think they used to be on Sunday anyway. They used to be on Sunday, and you know, nothing wrong with that. You get you get your lazy Sunday off to a, an epic start. Yeah. And um, speaking of epic start, uh, I want to go into this by sh saying this Danny G Ben set close. Epic start. Super close. Epic start to yeah. the tournament, and they were super close. You know, something interesting about this tournament is well, we had nine players. Uh, which is hot on the high end of Bobby Bashes. And yeah. we did have um, two players who have not made an appearance in a very long time. Mm -hmm. um, Scalathot has never made an appearance. And we had Puff yeah. God, uh, Cam, who plays Puff. Yeah. and Very nice um, to see him there. Very nice to see him. Unfortunately, he will not be joining us again for the foreseeable future. But it was very nice to see him because he did have an excellent performance. Uh, two owing Scalathot and almost beating Danny G. Yeah, that's crazy. Extremely close against Danny G, getting some cool, some sick rests off, two sick rests, and yeah. you know he really left a lasting impact on us. And I, I really wanted to see some more gameplay from him, but unfortunately, he does have employment. So yeah, um, boo, 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 boo honestly, boo, get unemployed. Um, so looking at the full results here, we can see you know King Edo still holding his position. Yeah, um, but you know that could change because according. To Edo's own words, every king must fall. Mm -hmm. And right now he is the king. So he yeah. might have he might have doomed himself with those words. Because Gixusu, uh, also known as Paul's Craft, our yeah. Falco favorite at the moment, um, you know, he really sh gave Aaron a run for his money. He's showing up. He's he's getting up there. Absolutely. You know, Taking he took a game. took a game from him both times. Yeah. So that's consistent. Yeah, that's consistent. Now he's so just, he's he needs to take two games now. Yeah, he needs to close the gap. Perth Canada getting third. Uh, we did try a different bracket this time by putting lower PR people in a, basically a separate section. So he did mm -hmm. beat every all the lower PR people, which is definitely not a bad performance. Um, so good good stuff to Perth Canada. Yeah, for sure. Uh, um, you know, a, a performance that I'm noticing is very lackluster is uh, Whoops Up. You know, mm. not a yeah. great showing from Whoops Up, but he did. Um, yeah, he first went up against Paul's Craft, the second place finish, and then all barely lost to Danny. It was so close. Yeah, um, I remember. Yeah, it was so close, and he's never beaten Danny. So, mm -hmm. very tough bracket for Web Sub today, or yeah. that last tournament. But, you know, I, I think he's still, despite what the tournament shows, he's always going to be a threat. You don't want to... Oh, for sure. You don't want to underestimate Web Sub in a bracket, no matter who yeah. you are. He's the only one, I think besides Danny, Danny took one one set also, uh, to take a set off of Aaron in the last season. And this is the start of the new season, so, um, like, everyone okay. should be trying, like, this is where you've got to be on your A game, you know? Yeah, this is where the number one rank can change. Yeah. Because, you know, when you're on Bobby Bash 25 and Aaron's won all of them, you're like, okay, number one is out of reach. He's won every single yeah. tournament. But now, this this could be anyone's, you know? Someone, someone could take it. Um... Mm -hmm. So I'm very interested to see what happens there. Yeah. And, you know, nothing else too surprising. I mean, obviously, Danny G finishing fourth is huge. It probably had yeah. something to do with the bracket, how it was set up. Mm -hmm. But, you know, good stuff to Ben also, I, I believe. Who did he lose to? Uh, Kiksusu and uh, Danny G. Yeah. yeah. Kiksusu and Danny G. So definitely not an easy bracket. He went through Skelton and Garnouche. And, uh fourth lost mm -hmm. to there uh, uh so yeah i mean solid tournament um nothing too surprising and i, I but i'm definitely we, i i said this last time uh, i think we're gonna see Gixusu, you know rise up yeah i'd love to see that um he's very fun to watch um always rooting for him mm -hmm. very cool and me too absolutely and uh you know he hopefully will give us another show in Bobby Bash 27. And something new mm. about these brackets that we're going to be doing from now on is predictions. And we're going to be looking yeah. at player predictions in a minute. Uh, the predictions are you predict the outcome of the bracket. 
and you get points wow. based on that. So cool. it'll be rather interesting to see whose predictions are right and mm -hmm. who's are wrong and what people think. Um, so this is a small tournament, only six. Uh, this is because we're missing Perth Canada for this tournament because he yeah. is at home. And um, I believe that's it, but like seven is like the average size and then we get people coming in and out. So six a little on the small side, but it should still be cool. Um, I mean, we have the the top of the top here. Yeah, we got all the top players here. Um, yeah. So Danny G versus Gixusu. You know, that could be very interesting. Uh, I, mm -hmm. I don't know. I think Weston uh, beat Danny in this tournament. Um, yes, so he's definitely been shown to be able to do it, but he's also lost to Danny many times. Yeah. So Danny, Danny's not a free ride for Weston I don't, by any means. I don't think Danny's a free ride for anyone except for Aaron at the moment. Yeah. Uh, so for Danny's sure. Danny's still scary, and I think he earned the number two spot. But yeah, Weston's really climbing up the rank. Um, then we got Ben versus Garnish. There's a chance Garnish takes it, but Ben um has been looking pretty good lately. Yeah, and has been looking good. Ben's That's been looking sure. really good. He's been playing. Yeah, I, I've been liking the Ben gameplay I've been seeing. So hopefully yeah. he, can, he can bring that on Sunday, on a Bubby Bash Sunday, and really take home this bracket. Because Ben hasn't won in a very long time. He yeah, is one of the, He's one of the only three people to have ever taken a bracket, like an entire tournament. Um, it Those people are Aaron, Danny, and Ben. And uh, yeah. D'Angelo and I think Brooke did it like very early on. But, you know, that's like... It's ancient know. history now. Yeah, it's, a, it's ancient history. We're talking about recent Bubby Bash, and Ben is yeah. really on the cusp of winning recently. This was like 13 he won, you know? So mm. it's barely recent anymore. It's more than 10. But um, I, I think that he still could definitely do it. Uh, yeah, sure. So then the winner of Danny G versus Gixusu has to fight Edo. That's scary, to be yeah. honest. But, you know, you get your hard ones out of the way. Mm -hmm. Um, if we're looking at Gixusu, you're fighting, you know, the top one and two players right off the bat. And then after that, like, you're kind of set until grands, you know? Um, yeah. So, I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, so like, I, I think if Danny G wins this, to be honest, he's been losing to Aaron left and right. And I, I think that could drop him down to losers. So yeah. I think even if Weston, like if he wins against Danny and loses against Aaron, he goes to, oh, he goes all the way back to here. Wow. So he Round he's gonna, throw. yeah, he's gonna fall to here. Um, Make an early losers run. And then he faces the loser of this. So I think yeah. like, whatever happens there, he. Oh, that's gonna be rough if he if he loses to Aaron. So this is gonna this look like a tough bracket for Weston. Um, Ben, I definitely think has a chance to do well uh whoops up is not a horrible matchup for him i think that's about even i can see that really going either way i think mm -hmm. adam's won more if i'm correct but it could definitely go either way yeah it could be anybody's for sure uh you know this bracket is it, this is just a small tournament just a comfy tournament and i'm excited to comfy see cozy. what happens it, but to be honest i mean we just gotta see how it plays out. Yeah, and whoa, whoa. let's take a look at those yeah. uh, predictions. All right. So first up is Danny G's prediction. Let's take a look. Yes. At this. Uh, so here's his prediction. Uh, Marthritis will click in soon, so he's really threatening Aaron with that, saying that okay. Marth will soon fall. Um, but yeah. we got Danny taking over Gixusu. Oh, Danny says he's gonna lose to Edo. All okay. Right. Interesting. He beats uh, Garnish. Oh wow! He says Adam drops out right away. Wow. So that's rough. Beats Garnish. Beats Weston. Oh wait. No, loses to loses Weston. Weston. Oh wow. He's really yeah. bashing himself. Bubby bashing himself. Yeah. But he's saying uh, Edo takes this whole tournament. You know, not a hot take. Definitely not a hot take. Yeah. Uh, this is me. Or is he saying Edo will take it? Or yeah, this, is... this first. This is who will take it. Oh, uh, okay, interesting. This is me. Um, I said Garnier should take the whole thing. Dang. And I think that's true. You see this? Yeah. That's what's gonna happen. Just an easy free ride. Easy free ride. Uh, next up we got Fuck Y'all, I'm riding the W truck by Wupsup. Uh, Wupsup has famously never taken a tournament, although he's always been a threat. But yeah. here, he says he's gonna take it through the loser's bracket. 
and win a bracket reset against Aaron. Okay. So, but he, he doesn't. He he starts like he, he only has to fight face Weston, which is obviously a tough uh, person to fight in losers. Yeah. But like it's it's only one match, so. Yeah, but he does have. He he says he's gonna lose to Aaron and then beat him twice. So you know. That's crazy. Good luck to Webb's That's up. crazy if he does that. That that would be sick. That'd be wild. Sure. But good luck to Webb's up. Yeah. Um, let's go Weston. I believe this is by you. This one is by me. I know you're a big Weston fan. So yeah. you're saying he loses to Edo and then makes the comeback and losers. Yes. This See, here's what we were talking about earlier. Here's why I got to disagree on this. I feel like Aaron plays better later in bracket. And then someone, and like most people play worse later in bracket agree like adam he'll like in the tournament where he beat aaron he he sent aaron to losers and then got 3 would by him when he yeah. met him later and mm -hmm. i really think that like i don't i i think it's just because aaron stays warm the entire tournament you know and yeah so personally i see it the other way around i see if if weston does beat aaron it's going to be here and then this is this might be rough but it's definitely doable for Weston. I'm very excited to see this tournament. Um, Adam finally beats Danny G by Cam, Puff God. Okay, pretty cool. So he's saying Adam's finally going to beat Danny G, but he's not going to win the tournament. Where is he? Oh, he fights fights him here, and then he does not win. <laughs> he loses to Edo. So you know, not another. I, I'd say the hottest take there is Adam beating Danny G. Definitely. Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm a win by Garnish. Uh, you know. Very similar to You're, my prediction. It's the same. Yeah, it is exactly the same as my prediction. <laughs> um, you know, so two predictions can't be wrong. Two Garnouche predictions. Uh, bruh, but Ben is sad. He says Ado is going to win. Okay. Um, but he says he's going to beat Whoops Up and then lose to Weston and Aaron. So, okay. um, well, Ben really uh, doubting himself here. It's not a bad prediction at all, though. Why does it say Danny finishes above Ben? Ben finishes here, but Danny finishes down here. Who knows? That way. But, you know, I could definitely see the bracket going this way. Yeah. Um, Ben does not fight Aaron very often, so I don't know how much Martha experience he has. You just gotta... The key to beating Martha Falcon, you just gotta punish him hard. And yeah. don't let him punish you. For sure. Yeah, because you just got to kill Marth off of the openings you get. And then Gamer by Gixusu. We got another Garnoosh another prediction. Another Garnoosh bracket. Looks prediction. identical. Yeah. No, actually, no, it's a Garnoosh oh, run no, through no, losers. It's a, a Garnoosh losers run. Crazy losers run. That is sick. That that would be the most insane thing. That's a crazy to prediction. Ever happen. <laughs> Everyone would lose their minds. I, um, I, I like that. You know, I got to say, three predictions can't be wrong. Yeah, very true. And um, I have a prediction, and I think you have All a right. prediction as well. We are about yeah. to have an interview. Okay. With a certain player. And yep. we'll see them <laughs> now. <laughs> What's up, Bubby Bashers? We're back with another epic interview with Paul's Crap 3388, uh, the star of the last tournament, almost taking down Aaron, the king, currently. Um, star of almost every tournament. Recently. Yeah, true. We, you know, he's been our uh, East Coast up and comer, and yeah. I'm very excited to see him play in the next tournament. How are you feeling about this next tournament, Weston? Um, I'm feeling good. I mean, you know, I'm just here to have fun. If I happen to get second place or last place, it doesn't really matter to me. As long as I'm having fun, that's all that matters. It's yeah, a great mindset. Great, great mentality. Um, so. You have a tough bracket right off the start. You, you face Danny immediately. Um, and then if you win that, you immediately have to go into Aaron. Um, not, not immediately, but obviously there's space in between, but that's your next match. Um, so do you think, like, how, how, how do you feel about that? Do you, are, you, are you nervous? Are you, do you think if you beat Danny G, the momentum from winning that set will carry through Aaron? What, what are your thoughts on um, I think, uh, I think I'll I'll do well against Danny. Mm -hmm. uh, I I've done a lot better against Danny more recently. Um, 
uh, I'm starting to learn the matchup more, so I think I'm going to have that better. And then going into tomorrow, you know, not to unveil too much, but uh, I've been I've been practicing some certain things. Ooh, uh, nice. I've been getting better, I think. Um, so hopefully, you know, it'll it'll be it'll be a closer it'll be a close set. That's it'll good. be a close set regardless. I hope. Yeah, I mean that's good to watch. Uh, typically, I mean unless somehow both players are playing really terrible, but that's usually it's not the case. Um, you have taken a game every set i think you've done with aaron you've taken at least one game so you you definitely are you know the only way to go is up you know? yeah yeah it's definitely um, doable and i'm excited yeah, to see for it sure. for sure uh are there any other players that you're worried about besides danny and aaron um yeah adam's been cooking mm. mr mr Wups up himself mm-hmm. uh I I wouldn't say I'm worried. I'd say I'm more worried than I usually am. I'm usually quite confident against Adam, but I've, I've been playing him. He's been he's been doing better. Mm-hmm. So That's interesting. You know, good to see. Obviously, you know, I want everyone, everyone wants to. I want everyone to do good, but you're in for the heart of melee. Exactly. Yeah. And um, do you think that like Aaron will? fall from first place this season or do you think he's going to hold on to that spot we'll see we'll see uh i don't think for his first place spot is as guaranteed as he may think it is oh oh shit interesting Interesting. um how do you how do you feel about ben's performance this week i know uh grayson and i think he's been playing a lot better i don't know if you fought him at all yeah Um, no i played against him a bit um He's he's doing well as well. Yeah, no, he's uh, you know, seeming to hit his moves more often. You know, make or do better options, I suppose. Yeah. So yeah. he's he's doing a lot better in terms of overall, uh, which is good to see. However, you know, Falcon Falco is a really bad matchup, so I'm not too too worried about that. Just in terms mm-hmm. of characters. Yeah. I, I think everyone's getting a uh, a lot closer in terms of consistency. Uh, so it's going to, as tournaments progress, I think it's really going to be a toss-up on who gets first uh, eventually because it's, it's getting really close. Um, but I, yeah, I think this tournament is going to be very hype, uh, yep. although it is small. It is small. It's a, it's a quaint little tournament. And honestly, um, that's that's about all I got to for this interview you know just a short yeah. little interview want to catch up with you all craft see how things are going because we always want to see the health of our players health of our players is number one in the bubby bash uh if that's all you got plum that is all i got all right that's all you got so thanks for your time paul's craft and we'll uh, we'll see you in this bubby bash in the future I'll see you then. and we'll see you there dear viewer